All right. So as we get into this, I'm going to start talking a little bit about our run pass option stuff, okay? The reason we're going to start with this piece of it, 90% of our normal down calls, the ball starts in the belly of the back. So this is incredibly important for me because I want this to be as detailed as we can make it for the QB in the back when we're talking about the QB's feet, hands, hips, and all of the run game. So what we've done is we've broke this down and we call it run pass circuit. All right, and it's something that is incredibly simple, but it is a great way for me to be able to teach these guys exactly what it's supposed to feel like and the muscle memory part of it. Again, 90% of normal down calls starting with the ball in the belly of the back. So as we look at Corral here, everything we're gonna talk about is gonna be quarter turn or a plant foot, all right? The back is gonna be toes on heels, all right? His toes on my heels. The back is always gonna wait for the catch. All right, back's not moving until the QB catches it. All right, and then his footwork is gonna stay very consistent on tight zone, zone insert, and counter. All right, so for Corral here, the back here is on his left. All right, so as we pause it right there in that position, I've got plant foot, I've got quarter turn. All right, want the ball belt buckle high, want our wrist broke, and we want to extend the ball to the back hip. So just quick coaching points for this guy. We talk about extending the ball to the back hip right now. All right, that's the first part of run pass circuit, something that is very simple, as we all see. <clears throat> Plant foot, quarter turn, extend the ball to the back hip right now. All right, I do like his hands, and I like how quiet his feet are right here. All right, next rep. Now we're gonna go back hip, front hip, and then we're gonna see the ball in. All right, so as we go back hip, front hip, we talk about the QBs never letting the ball get outside your front hip. As soon as the ball's outside my front hip, I've got issues with ball security. So now we are plant foot, quarter turn, back hip, front hip, get it in. All right, and that's the picture of it. His hands are incredibly deliberate right there, just being able to use this for, uh, for this talk right now and then you'll see this on the tape as we get into it. <clears throat> Again, real deliberate, but like the position that he's in. Plant foot, quarter turn, back hip, front hip. All right, next one as he goes to pop. All right, so now, I'm gonna get into our profile a little bit here. So now we are back hip, front hip, pop. So as we go to pop to the target right now, this camera angle is here for a reason so that we have the ability to see Matt in his profile. You'll see him throughout this drill checking his feet, all right? And when we talk about our profile, we wanna create as consistent of body positions as we possibly can, all right? So as I'm in my profile right now, I wanna be toe, knee, hip, shoulder in alignment. How many times is it gonna work out that way in the game and be perfect for you? Not very many. But the closer I can get back to that position, the better chance I have to be able to go throw and catch consistently and make consistent throws. So as you see Corral again, Tony hip, shoulder, everything is in alignment, all right, with his eyes locked on his post-snap read. Good picture for him. The next thing is I want to go from that position right there to in the ground as fast as I can. Again, how quiet his feet are right here is what to me this is all about. All right, everything's twitched up, fast hands, fast feet, fast hips, that's how we talk about it. And now he's on his post-snap read and his post-snap throw and he is in a great body position right there. <clears throat> Good, same thing, watching Cor Corral's eyes. So as we go through this, we're gonna talk about read two, read away. All right, so when I'm talking about read two, read two means the read is on the side of the back. If it's read away, it's gonna be opposite the back. All right, so we work those drills in, or we work his eyes in these drills. So right now, it is back two, read two, and we're popping to our post-snap target. All right, good picture again for him right here. Again, feet, everything happening fast for him, twitched up as close to the earth as possible right there. Good job by him right there just going to check his feet. It's such a simple thing, but for us, Again, creating the consistent body position as much as we possibly can. All right, here we go. Now just going the other way, all right? So now we got read away. Nothing changes. 
I've got my plant foot, I've got my quarter turn, and now I'm gonna extend the ball to the back hip. Again, straining with my eyes because it is read away, and I'm going back hip, front hip, and getting it in. Only thing we're talking about right here with him is just making sure he breaks those wrists. We want the point of the ball always down, never up, never flat. Same picture right there. Don't like the way the ball is in his hands right there. Want the ball down, broke wrist. All right, read away. Strain with those eyes. Again, everything is quiet in my lower half. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Now, so we talk about box being loaded, all right? So anytime we're talking about, and we'll get into it when we get to the tape, yes, no box, post snap. My post snap read is gonna be dead if the box starts as a loaded box. All right, so now if I'm the QB and we've got run pass on, and I know it's a loaded box, then I'm gonna immediately manipulate a single high safety and then pop to my post snap target. All right, so again, being able to work his eyes inside this drill. So now it is read away, loaded box. Read away, loaded box. All that means is now my eyes, I'm gonna manipulate a single high player, and now I'm gonna to pop to my post snap throw. All right, so you got read two, you got read away. Box is loaded or unloaded. If it's unloaded, I got a post snap read. If it's loaded, it is a must throw, and I'm gonna manipulate a single high player. Good, same thing with the ball right there. Just again, little thing, want the nose of the ball down, taking care of the football, 90% of what we do, the ball starting in the belly of the back, that's why this is broke down the way it is. All right, you can tell him right there, just tucking that front shoulder, working on shoulder level as well. <clears throat> 